Hey guys, so it's William back here. So I'm holding my camera today, so I don't know if I'm doing it. So we're gonna do this. So we're gonna review this J Concept tire break-in tool. So this came out a couple months ago. Um, I ordered it at my local hobby shop and it just came in. So they retail for $60 US. All right, so why is this so good? So for so any of the racers that race around me that's gonna watch this video, you're wondering why I have this. So it comes in three parts. We have, I'm going to the light over so you guys can see it nice and bright. We have the tool, the lock on the tire. We have this part. So this is why I really like this one over the AKA one. Is I run 8 scale, I like to run 8 scale. So I have my 17 mil hex there and my 12 mil hex there. And then this is my crankshaft. So this is my shaft that I think goes on. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to show you guys with my electric screwdriver. So it's just a basic Walmart electric screwdriver. So you go in. So these are the tires that I was showing you guys that they all work with. So we have a two at our front tire. Um, these are some more carpets. You don't really break these in as a rule. Um, you can, but it's up to you. Um, so I'm using these just more demos. We already have my clean short course truck and my Torgy tire. So if it works on a Torgy and it works on a short course, it's gonna work on a buggy. So, well, sorry guys. So basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how these work, how to set them up, how to plug it in, how to design it. So we're gonna try the, to the best of my ability for you guys to get this in a good angle. All right, so yeah, well, we're gonna start off. Um, you get the tool, so we're gonna take the tire. Whoops. So, two mil hex, find the hex side, so there it is. You're gonna just drop it in, like that, all right. You're gonna find this tool, and there's a little, once you guys can see it, there's a little curt nick right there, there, and there. So then you're gonna stab, you're gonna stab that right through there. Turn it off to the right, wait till it to click. It's a really little click there. Sometimes it's quick. There we go. Quick. All right. Then you are going to put it in the gun, into the drill. All right. So I'm going to put it in the drill. So boom. Just click, click, click. All right. Then you're going to grab this part. A little hard to do with one hand, but we'll get it done. And then you tighten it down. So you can use the drill for this when you have two hands, so it's nice and tight. Boom, move down. So then you can go clockwise or counterclockwise to get the tire clean. So you can use a rag to sand them down if you're going to use it on turf or if you're gonna use it on some like high traction. But the tracks I run on around where I'm at, we don't really like to break in our tires. We like maximum durability in our tires. Usually when they drop down to about, give or take 90 to 80%, we usually trash them and get new ones. Um, for the trophy races. For club races, we run tires right down until basically they're bald. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So it works, as you guys can see, it works with this. So that's a 10 scale. All right, works out pretty good. So I'll cut back and you guys, and I will have this one on and I'll show you and I'll go through them all so you guys can all see they work. All right, as you guys can see, this is my two to buy, my two to buggy tire, so it works pretty good. All right. So what I do here is when I'm doing with this, all this setup here, um, I'll have simple green on this and then I'll have a rag and go through all the dirt, access dirt off. And then I would take, put that rag on the side, it's a dirty rag. Then I pick a clean rag up and, or sorry, I, clean my, I have a brush I would use. I don't have my brush handy with me here. It's actually, I got to get another one from the dollar store where I got my brushes from, dollar store. And then when I'm racing on dirt, I would hold it here, spin around. Get all the dirt off of that simple green, and then take my rag, simple green again, my rag, and go around, and then boom. That's how I clean them. I clean all my tires off, wash them all off in between races. So nice and fun. It's nice and competitive. It keeps the tires nice and clean and shiny, and I get to simple green them. It's a lot easier with this tool I found. Um, one of my local racers, Trevor Fulot, bought a 10 scale AKA one, and I was going to buy it, and then I heard this one was dropping, so I waited, and I think this is a better one for me as I run 8 scale 2. Um, I actually just told him about this tool and he seemed really interested into it. So maybe, maybe these would be the new tools from around here, but this just speeds up the cleaning process. I found, um, with, with the power, of course, power drills always speed up. So next we're moving the short construct tire. So you guys can kind of see how that works. All right, there you go. We got a short construct tire. So the thing that I like to do personally with this, when I'm dealing with it is I'm going to get an impact or non electric screwdriver, something a little more woof to it, um, just to speed the drill up. Because I like to have this one in my pit all times. And I usually have like 
my speed tips. So I have MIP speed tips. Um, I have one associated uh, 1.5 there. And in, sorry guys with the mask, in this toolbox, I have another set of full MIPs. So I run MIPs on race day and I use the rule MIPs at home. And then I got my MIP 1.5 for that kind of stuff. So I like to run like my drill bits in here. So I'm gonna get another something else for this. So I'll always be in there just to speed up the process. You know what I mean? Or I might buy myself a better drill, uh, like Milwaukee or a dual a Dewalt or something like that for uh, my electric screwdriver, and I might permanently make this over. But yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. So next we're going to ACL Truggy. So I will show you the process here in a second. Okay, so now everything's off. You just pull this piece off here, and you flip it around. So I'm gonna drop it in the tire first. This is the way I like to do it first. So just push it in, drop it in. Try like that. So then it's the same process. You put that through there. Make sure the click goes in. Put this on. So I will get you back when it's all done. And you guys can see that. All right. Here we go. So these are blockades by Proline. So as you can see, it fits all Truggy tires. So if it's Truggy, which is the biggest tire we run around here, it fits right down to my smallest 10 scale tire that I have, which is two to buggy front. So yeah. So that's kind of what it looks like. So we'll take it all off for you guys now. So, um, if I had two hands, I'd show you a quick way to do it. So what I do is I put the drill on, I hold the drill in, I have this thread itself in and out until it clicks, and then that's it. So that's what we do there. So we're just beating this up here. Do, 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 you guys go. All right, so then we pull this out. And then I just, for me, it's just a pull like this. And that comes out. All right. So this is the J Concept tire break-in tool. So, would I recommend it? Yeah, I'd recommend it. Um, so, would I recommend this tool? 100% uh, I would recommend this tool. Um, now, I, like I said, I just got this today. Um, I cleaned, already cleaned a couple tires with it, so it worked, and it worked pretty good. So, I'm using it more as a cleaning tool than a break-in tool. So, with the break-in process, you use the sandpaper, grind on your treads. Um, personally, I find it's really useless to do that. You imagine just run slicks, you're going to grind your tread down. Um, and I have ran slicks before a couple of our carpet tracks, but yeah, so this is a tool that I have now in my toolbox. It'll be with me on all my races. Um, it's a really cool, nice tool. Definitely like it. Definitely impressed by it. It's definitely a nice tool. Like I said, it's $60 us. I think it's $75 Canadian, at great hobbies or around there. Um, it does take a little bit to get in if you order through a local shop that doesn't have it listed, but it's going to be a tool that. Enough of us want it, they'll be listening around local shops. So this is a tool that I would definitely recommend for anyone who's in the off-road industry that races 8 scale and 10 scale. So if you race one or the other, it's still a great tool. But if you race both, this is an amazing tool. So I kind of race everything. I have all, almost all the classes. Actually, I have all the classes. So I pick what I want to race each race day. Um, so as a rule, I, I want to switch just primarily to 8 scale. For next summer, so I'll bring an eight scale with a ten scale Floyd or buggy. So this will be my go-to tool when I bring with me to all my tracks. So I have my E buggy, my N buggy, my E chuggy, and my Floyd Ten Scale buggy. So I'll be using lots of eight scale stuff for this because I have lots of ty new tires from a Floyd Ten Scale scale for next season. But this is what we're gonna run, and this is how it's gonna work. So it's gonna work great, and yeah. So I definitely recommend this tool, and I'm sorry I'm taking this on, guys, longer than I could. Um, so I again I'd like to thank everybody for who supports my videos this is great um because subscribers i went out and i'm trying to buy specific tools now and reviewing them and letting you guys know how they work so right now um this is to my knowledge will be the first review of the j concept tool so we will see how it goes and yeah so we'll talk to you guys later and i hope you guys all have a great day and i think this will be uploaded on a friday or a saturday so if you're not already track practicing i hope you're going to have a race this weekend and you can have a great race um, make sure you're safe with your masks on indoors. And if you're outdoor track, you can still race outdoors, like down in California and stuff. Have fun out on there. If you guys haven't locked down, it'd be great. So make sure you wear your masks. Stay safe. Peace out to our next video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit your post notifications on because you always need to notify when I upload a video. All right? So we're going to go. Peace out.